We're out here in the chicken yard on a very cool and moist morning here in early May. And I thought it'd be an interesting opportunity to share some notes. We've been talking about composting with chickens for the longest time. And then we've got a whole playlist. I'll link to that here in case you're new to the channel. Uh, we talk about all these different ways of sprouting and getting in food scraps and all that. In this video, what I'd like to do is share some ideas around a very, very simple way that you can augment your existing system with more food and quality of life for your hen. So let me share some notes. It may seem weird to even say this, but directly underfoot, which is basically a walkway, is actually a huge reserve of food for our hens. And I think what you'll understand by the end of the video is that basically whatever system you currently operate, you almost certainly have places you walk in the chicken yard. And so it's an opportunity to bank more food for your hens. Now in our case, when I dig in here with the hay fork, what we've got is layer after layer after layer of old waste hay. There's some wood chips. There are random leaf bags that we dumped out. Basically, wherever you can get free mulch materials, wherever you live, there's an opportunity to dump that and bank that in your walkways. What you see the hens going after the most right here are some seeds. And I'll keep picking through. We'll find some really sweet caches throughout. By dumping seeds, maybe you get a whole grain mix for feeding your hens, or maybe you know some farmers or some lower cost opportunities to get whole seed, viable seed. Uh, that can be dropped in the walkways. You can soak it overnight. Sasha does that and provides them soaked seed in the mornings. But you could also simply dump them in the, in the walkway periodically or scatter them, throw more mulch, dot, 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 time, and now you've got sprouts. And what's beautiful about this is there's direct connection with the earth with this sort of system. And so red wigglers and earthworms, pill bugs and other soil life will naturally want to migrate up and into this situation. And we find periodically we get some amazing pockets of worms. But what the hens are after right now are on a cold, dreary, wet morning, uh, sprouted whole grains that are probably at about 70 or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. A really nice treat early in the morning and incredibly nutritious. Very little effort on our part. An additional optional layer in some ways, I think equally easy to accomplish, but definitely not necessary, is to add random compost rings in your system. In this case, we're using two by four inch welded wire offcuts from tree fencing, and we fill it with sticks and old shells and leaf bags and hay and whatever, and seeds periodically. And when we open into this, what often will happen is you get some really beautiful sprouts and oftentimes lots of worms. It's hard to even show them. They hit them so hard and fast. Because the compost is happening in this protected ring, the worms have a chance to live out their lives and replicate without the hens knocking them apart so fast. And when we dip in and provide that into the walkway again, now there's a lovely boost of sunflower sprouts, red wigglers, and the like. It's just about as little effort as you can get away with. Huge amount of resiliency. You can get red wigglers as a place to begin by ordering online, but I'd encourage you instead ask around. Do any friends have worm composting bins? Are there any farms nearby that have manure piles? A lot of times animal manures, the more aged material, may be teeming with red wigglers, and that's a place to begin that process. Really, this can happen anywhere. This is our high tunnel that we used as a winter run for our hens to keep them sheltered from really cold, snowy times. Worked beautifully. We've got some compost that's left over in here. As a matter of course now, we're not thorough anymore. We don't dig out every last fleck of compost to move it along. We let some sit and rest because naturally it starts to fill with sprouts and earthworms because of that. So now, here we are in spring, and we can dig into some of this older compost that's been laying around. Ladies, let the folks see for a second. You can see the hens definitely know what to come for. Some old corn cobs that we left, those may or may not germinate. But worms throughout, the quality of life and the quality of nutrition is incredibly high with this. And it's actually incredibly easy to accomplish. 
dump stuff on the ground, leave it alone for a while, flip it later. <laughs> Someone's outside hammering. <laughs> Come in. There was a worm. 